Vendy Bulldogs is Coach Phillips. I've got an awesome game for us to play. All right, this is called the water bottle trap game. So Coach has got a water bottle, and any kind of water bottle or juice bottle or anything, any kind of bottle will work. And you're going to take a basket or a crate, a laundry basket or a big bucket or anything you have at home. Um, again, just be flexible. Try your best and do the best you can with what you got. We're here at Coach's house. Um, I've got two little boys who've been playing a lot, and Coach has been playing too, so ignore the mess. We just play a lot. We clean up before bedtime. I hope you do too. Back to the water trap game. So you're going to take your water bottle, and you're going to set it on the edge, the, the basket or your crate or whatever, right here on the edge in the front. And your goal is to try to trap the water bottle. Now, we're gonna use socks because everybody has socks hopefully at home. We're gonna ball them up like balls. Look, Nick, socks. So these are some of Nick's socks. Phoenix and Nick say hi, Bendy Bulldogs. Hey, Bendy. So Nick has taken two of his pretty cool socks here, made them into sock balls. You could use a anything you want for your bowling activity. We're gonna be practicing our underhand motion, underhand rolling. So here goes. You're going to take a few big steps back, five, six, eight, ten feet. Older kids take farther steps back. My younger kids, four or five feet is fine. You're going to make an underhand motion. You're going to do your underhand roll. Remember, when we roll, we want to use our dominant hand, our strong hand. We're going to step, swing our arm back, and roll. Phoenix, watch out, sweetie. Thank you. We're going to step, swing, and roll. And we're going to try to knock the water bottle, trap it inside the basket. Now, there are some points in this game, and I want you to try to get super high score. Each sock ball that's inside the basket is worth one. Each water bottle time it gets trapped is worth two. And if you can get the sock ball and the water bottle trapped inside the basket, that's three points. Now, typically, we try to do this for one minute. You'll have one minute on the clock, so have mom or dad or have a timer or have a watch a clock or put the clock on your cell phone or iPad or whatever, your timer, you'll have one minute to try to get as many points as you can. You can do some warm-up rounds, some practice rounds, but you're going to try your best. Nick, you want to show off and show how it goes? All right, so Nick, you got one minute on the clock to get as many points as you can. Ready, set, go! Oh, oh. so that be two points. So we set it back up quick. Come on, run. Set it back up. Set it back up. He's at two points. Sets it up quick. He runs back five, six feet. Step, swing, and roll. Oh, another two-pointer. That's awesome. And folks, we continue. Kids, we continue like that for the whole minute. I challenge you to get a super high score. I challenge you to try to beat your mom and dad. I challenge you to try to have the best score at the school. three-pointer. Awesome. Now, it's pretty good, but I bet you're even better. Give the water trap game a try. Bye, Bulldogs.